bring Bonnie. So here's a review on, on the recon rods. Um, these are the recon inshore rods. Um, I've been fishing them for close on two years now. And um, I just wanted to um, just update you guys on what I think of this rod. Um, uh, so far, I've done all kinds of fishing with these rods. You'll see on this little video here, I've just put a couple of little inserts from, not all my fishing, it's just a couple of things that I've done. Um, anything from soft plastic fishing, which we call drop shot here. Um, then, um, yeah, we, we've been fishing it slow jigging. We've been throwing spoons and, and little jerk baits and that with them. And also um, light bait fishing. I've been fishing rock and surf, you know, scratching in the rocks and things like that for bronze beam, as well as uh, fishing sort of in the harbors and that with bait for, for cob and grunter. And I tell you what, um, I'm impressed with these rods. I, um, I've had them for quite a while and they really serve their purpose. Um, you can see that we've hooked some really good fish on, on these things offshore. Um, Unfortunately, um, with a lot of stuff like this, landing big fish is, is a problem. Not not because um, the rod and that can't handle it, but because there's too many sharks around and um, we get shot quite often. In that. But handling big bonnies, and I tell you, anybody who's been offshore and caught a bonnie, um, pound for, for pound, they are probably the hardest fighting fish in the ocean. And um, these rods have really served, um, served me well. Um, I've been fishing the well, uh, three types of rods. I fish fishing the the medium seven foot um, and the medium heavy seven foot, and then the eight foot six. The eight foot six is a really nice little rod for the slow pitch jigs. Um, anything from about a ten to a sort of like thirty gram slow pitch jig is working well. But um, yeah, I, I rate these rods, and I, and, I, and if you guys are looking for something for drop shots and something dedicated for this type of thing, uh, please check them out. They, they, they're really good rods, um, and I can't really fault them. Anyway, thanks for watching. Just enjoy the rest of the video of some of the catches that I've made on, on these rods. I'm going down up the drop shot now. On the light setup. I always get fish on this. And the other way to work a jig is to cast out and then it's sink, sink down and then and then work it back. Uh, yeah. Fishing the Seymour. Gonna tighten the reel. Good showing. Gotta be embers, yeah, man. So some bunnies. There they are there. You see where I threw there now? Check there. Check there. Not eating the big one. Oh, there we go. Uh, um, vinyl's on. Uh, I don't know, it's not running like a bunny here. Yeah. yeah. HD getting charred, yeah, there's something chasing him. No oh, man. I think he just got charred. Oh, it got charred. It almost got charred. Uh, get him up here, get him up before that shark gets him. Yeah. Run, tail wrapped. There you go, hooked into something, yeah. Pushing the recon. Eight foot six. Ten pound boss, look. Here's the current here. Yeah. Oh, 
Ja, Mann. on them. But this is how you want to catch them. What a job. Recon. This is fun. This is fun. We're going to get a shark eat one of these things now. Those are so fat. Eh? I must be eating sardines or something now. Bay is on fire. So, yeah, I can get away from that. I can't even lift the salmon. Took me, yeah. just landed, man. I think I pushed it once. There he is, there he is. Ooh, what on my chin? I got the thing ready. I got him in the side. Ah, yeah, yeah. Let's get, get ready. Hmm. Uh, yeah, that's why it's so difficult. Come on. What about the old stuff? Come on. There he comes. Come on. Another one. <laughs> Shot, man. 
That's a GT, yeah. That's a GT. That's the problem and all this rubbish. Yeah, some big head shacks. Eh? Yeah, I just want to get away from all this rubbish. Find a place down to the bottom, yeah. yeah. Serious head nods. I haven't been here too long, but I changed from a pearl to a. Uh, this is a goldfish color. Again, I didn't bring any of my landing stuff, and now I'm in the rocks. rubbish. Uh, oh, you got a glip grippy thing. It's not even a big one.